Hi, thank you for joining me today. It's a beautiful day here, and I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you're at. Well, we already got started a little bit on this one here. It's a 16 by 20 canvas. On the top, it's got a coat of liquid white, because that's what we use with the wet on wet, and that's this type of painting. And what I did was I put a line through and put a coat of black gesso. Then I covered it with a thin coat of liquid clear and then I mixed phthalo blue, phthalo green which gives you that green look of the ocean. We're going to do an ocean scene today with some palm trees, maybe some seagulls. As you can tell we already started some sky here, some clouds and some stormy clouds coming in. What we used, we used a two inch brush and we used the crisscross strokes in the corners, blended it in with the blender brush, put the clouds in, and that's how we got to this point where we're at right now. We'll put the sky in, highlighted a little bit of the areas for the reflection. Now what I'm starting to do is fan brush with liquid white, titanium white. What we're going to do now, start putting in some water off in the distance, maybe right where the sky, right where the sun's at. We're just going to tap it. What we want to do is tap it more in here, turn the brush over, highlight it more. You don't want to cover it all, you want to leave some dark spots. That makes it look like there's waves, like the waves look. Now what we're going to do is get a palette knife, load some liquid white on it, just a crust, a little roll of paint, and just tap it. Get some more paint. What we're trying to do is create the illusion of it being rough. If you ever look at the ocean, always by the sun, it kind of glitters. That's what we're trying to create. We're trying to get it a glitter look. We're going to go back to the fan brush and we're going to do strokes a little bit like a wave, off in a distance, because the color we put on there, the greenish colors, is going to pick right up off the white, and you're going to see that as we go along. You want to leave some black areas, some dark, here and there and there and here wherever you think it might be. That's exactly where it should be in your painting. Because like I've said in my other lessons, this type of painting, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. I tell you, that's a good way to look at it. Because it's really true. Maybe we'll highlight this some more. Just here and there, give it some. Give it a good look. Just want to fill this in. Here and there and there and here. If you notice, I haven't loaded my fan brush up too much for this, for this technique.
hope you can see that and really get the get the true the true look of the ocean. Maybe over here it's lighter. I hope you can see that corner there, that edge. We'll come all the way down. Who knows? We'll fill the rest in with a wave. We'll put a wave in. I'm not sure how big of a wave. Whatever we don't use back here, down here with the color, it'll just blend in. We'll create something else with it. It'll blend in. Well, that's the effect that we're looking for. We're going to put some more titanium white. Some more cadmium yellow. We'll come in here and highlight this. Because the sun's yellow, as you can tell. What we're going to do is bring up some of the yellow down into here. Just highlight it. Maybe... Maybe take the palette knife and load that up with some yellow. Just because the water is going to hit that yellow. Here and there. Load it up with some more yellow. Liquid white. Get that look. Same thing what you did down here have it sharp have it have it glisten just like that because that's what you're looking for some glistening Maybe down here we'll put some. And at our water, water's edge. Bring all that together. Just let it run off your, just let it run off your palette. Your palette knife. painting the way this looks up here I'm gonna add some seagulls don't have a chance to do birds too many birds in the landscapes that I do but for this we can do seagulls the seagull will start out and we'll put one right here and we'll just put a dot We'll draw the line. Maybe we'll make that a little darker. Use a little paint thinner. So you can see it. I'll go in it again. Tap it. Maybe one's here. Maybe he's flying at a different different direction. You know how they fly? One's flying one way, one's flying the other. Put one more up here and maybe in the clouds. Maybe he's flying. He's coming a different angle. Maybe he's coming in like that. Clean the brush off. Now we'll come in with the fan brush. The fan brush and we'll start making some waves. 
cleaning it off just a little bit. Liquid white, titanium white. Maybe some liquid clear. Kind of softens it up and makes it a little bit uh, loaded up. And in here we're going to start, we're just going to tap it and it's going to give us like there's waves coming in. See that? It's the corner of the brush. Just make it as wherever you think. Just a corner. And we'll come back and we'll highlight some of that to where we'll blend it in. And it can be any any size, some smaller ones. Add some more white, liquid white. Maybe in our world it's right here. The wave coming in. Maybe back here there's some. Here, maybe you can see them off in the distance. Maybe it's kind of rough because the storm's coming. Because of the black clouds, the storm's coming off in the distance. Maybe we'll have some in here. Right where we highlighted it. We want that to sparkle. Sparkle with the yellow. Maybe there's some waves up here. Maybe some off over there. Just depends on where you want it. Kind of put them wherever you want. You have to pick and choose on how many waves you want. Just like that. Let me clean my brush off a little bit. What I want to do is come back in here and get the angles of the of the waves. Got to pull on them. Take it from the top. I hope you can see that where they break. like that. Maybe it goes right into there. You don't have to do a whole lot on all of them because all the waves are different. Some come in, some are crashing, some are going off to sea again. But whatever you can do to enhance it, And make that illusion. That's just what we're looking for. Maybe here, here, maybe this over here. Just tap it. There, here, here, there. Blend this in here. Get some going down here. Because we're going to blend this in. This is going to be the wave. Wave's going to be coming in here. Right in this area here. Well, I think we just about got what we're looking for. But at home, wherever you're at, you can kind of scrub it in, work it, kind of get whatever you're looking for, whatever highlights maybe. But like I said, you don't want to fill it all in. You want to have some of the dark areas. Because it really gives depth in the picture. It really gives it a nice look. 
Okay, clean the brush off a little bit again. Where do we want our wave to be? We're going to have some palm trees over here, but we're going to put our wave in. So I'm going to use a fan brush again. Same titanium white, liquid white, and some liquid clear. That thins it. That helps it. Maybe our wave is going to be, maybe where it's breaking, it's going to be right here. Just tap it, the corner of the brush. Just like that. Maybe it comes down, goes up a little bit, and it peaks there. Maybe it goes down just right into the shallows. Take some more of the white. I'm going to highlight this a little bit more. Make it a little thicker. Turn the brush over. Have it peak there. Just use the corner. All the way. Once you get to that point, you can take this filbert brush. I'm going to use liquid clear, white, titanium white, liquid white. And we want some yellow. Because we're going to blend that. We're going to put the eye in. The eye. Load it up. And you're just going to scrape it in, but you want to leave a little dark edge there. And you'll see as I do it what I'm talking about. Just come right up to it. I hope you can hear me scraping it in. Load some more up. Same white colors. Yellows. We're going to have this come right down, blend that in, because it's going to get shallow here, and you're going to be see it's going to be transparent through the wave. And that's what you're looking for. Just keep tapping it until you get the right look. like that. Take your blender brush and just blend it in. And start the angle. So how do you want this wave to come? Maybe just like that. Just like that. Maybe this is just picking up some of the white because it's more of a um, it's more from the not so much of the water but you have that look of the water turning up it's more foamy That's just what you're looking for. You don't want to. You don't want to do too much. You want to leave some dark areas in. And down here, there's some sand. It's in the brown. So we put some brown down there. So we're just going to lift that up. Knock some, brush, some uh, paint off the brush. Pull that up. And just slightly go over. Try 
to get that look because we're going to put some we're going to put some waves coming in here after this after it broke now we're going to take the white colors again we're going to start making part of the wave when it's crashing in maybe this wave is right here it's coming in there turn your brush over fill up some more maybe it's right there maybe this wave just goes it's crashing so it just crashes right off just breaks right there now what we're going to do is we're going to take a two inch brush clean it What we want to do is make some mist down here. Going to go into the whites again. Liquid clear. We're going to load the fan brush up and pull it straight down here to get that round edge on there. What we're going to do is turn that upside down or right side up and tap. And I hope you can see that. Well, we're going to tap it in here. Leave some dark areas. We want to make it where the waves are crashing in. Now we're going to take the blender brush blend that in just like we did the clouds blend it in hope you can see that you want to kind of make it look like the clouds too because that mist when it comes crashing in it's turning over just the way it's looking you want to leave the top part alone and just blend the rest in these some areas that's not because a lot of times in the in the waves and when it's crashing in you're gonna see, you're gonna see some of the darker stuff some of the other areas in there where it's where it's not all white you're gonna have the different colors just tap it that's just about what you're looking for that's a good thing and we're going to take some liquid white titanium white on the fan brush and we'll start from here and we'll just pull some water lines down like just like the way you'd see it in the ocean the next time you're at the beach Kind of take a look. Because once you start painting, you'll see different things in nature. Maybe that you never noticed before. brush off here. We're just going to pull just slightly because we don't want to do nothing. We don't want to do a whole lot with that because that kind of is the look we're looking for. You know, I step back and take a look and make sure that's just about what you want. 
we're going to take the white again. We want to highlight this a little bit deeper. Make it a little sharper. Just like that. This goes right down, right down into there. I like this more. If you pull some down here since it's shallow water, you could have it more white. Lighter. Okay, now we got that done. We're gonna take the liner brush and get into the darker color of the greens of the what we put in the ocean. And just put very light coat of it on there. Just want just a little bit. You're going to come in here and you're going to bring in these lines. That you see. In waves. I hope you can see some of them. Now we're going to take the palette knife and load it up with the white colors. And we're going to start making some waves here that are coming in. Get some on the end of your palette knife. And what you're going to do is try to find out where you want your wave to be. Maybe your first one is right here. Just kind of scrape it in. Just tap it in there. Maybe it goes all the way back to there. Load some more paint on there. I'm going to lift this up here and put it right here so I can get to it a little bit easier. Maybe your other wave. It's right there. Maybe it's right just like that. Okay, once you did that, you take your fan brush, you're gonna blend it back like you did in the waves up in the in the ocean. Take it, pull it back. Have it go right back into the wave. Because this is where it's breaking. one back here you do the same thing. I'm going to leave a gap in between there like you did back here. And it makes it look like there's a shadow and the illusion of the wave. Two waves coming in. Or going out depending on how you want to look at this particular one on what happened. You know the waves coming in. They are breaking. Now we're going to work on a brown color with some white, brown, yellow. We're going to make a palm tree, some palm trees. Maybe a little bit more Van Dyke brown. Load it up on your fan brush. And in our painting, let's say one of the trees is right here. I'm just going to tap down to get a basic 
idea. Maybe it comes right down. Grab some more. Maybe there's another tree that's more this way. Comes right down. Right over the wave part. Now what you want to do is load it up again and cut it in. As you came down you picked up some of the colors from the ocean. So you might have to go over it again. to get the dark color in there. But we got that going. We're going to take some same color but loaded up with some white just on one side. And we're going to take the corners and just tap it. Highlight it. Highlight the trees where you think it will be coming. You know the sun's right in front here. What you want to do is tap it and pull it, kind of like in a circular motion, and you get that look. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load this up, same color. We're going to put the palm part in. Because on the palm trees, if you've ever seen it, they got a lot of extra stuff that's built up underneath. From where the palms fell off. Because the palms fall off as, as they grow. Cleaning the brush again. Because what I'm going to do now is grab some sap green, liquid white, a little bit of the beach color, and some more liquid clear to thin it out. Because it'll be better, it'll stick better. I'm going to look for some a palmy palmy look. Load your fan brush up and decide where you want your palms to start. Maybe ours starts right here. Maybe another one is up here. Maybe one is over here. I'm going to tell you, the palms, they're all over the place. If you look at a palm tree, there's so many palms in there. It's amazing It's amazing how many palms are in a palm tree and what makes it so full. I'm just tapping. Trying to get, I'm trying to get an illusion of the way I see palm trees look. You're gonna have different shadows, different shades, different different flavors of this. Maybe on this side there's some, because on each side the palms they grow. Sometimes you don't see them, depending on where you're looking at it from. But I'm just tapping. I'm just taking a corner, almost like what I do on my other on my other lessons with pine trees. Just creating that. 
Maybe this one goes out here. Who knows? Maybe you can just see some of it coming up. You can just fill the rest of it in. Maybe down here we'll have one more. Because palm trees, they grow thick. Some of that stuff that we filled in, in there, that's okay. We know it's there, and that's supposed to be the way that it looks. Wherever you think one should be, just add it in there. Tap it. Maybe on this side, you'll see some of it. Turn the brush over. Each one separate. It's perfect. It's one of the, my better my better palm trees I've ever done. And like I've always said, this kind of painting, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. And this is one of them. To where the more you paint, the more you get ideas. Maybe this one comes right down in front. Maybe there's one here. Maybe there's some coming up there. Had some more phalo, phalo green, darker color. Maybe it's up here. Now you can start putting each branch in. Maybe there's a short one here. Those are all different sizes. Tap it, depending on how long you want your pine to be, your pine, uh, your palms. That's how you tap it. You tap little, you have little ones. If you go further down, you'll have big ones. And the palm tree. They're all different. Different different shades. All that. All those things that, that I hope you'll look at when you start painting. I hope you continue on because really anybody can do this. It just takes practice. Tap. Tap over here. That one kind of worked out. Good. Those are real palmy. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Well, we're almost at the point of a finished painting. I like to sign mine in the bottom corner, left hand corner. I can take the lightest color that I've used. I use liquid white or you could use paint thinner and the liner brush and load it up to where it's like ink. And I sign my name right here. I put my last name. A lot of people, they use their initials. And you can use whatever you'd like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it kind of worked out pretty good. It was different. One other thing you can do is take the palette knife and what I've done before you could scrape in some different branches and stuff that happens in here. Stuff that you might not really see, but kind of scrape it in. and It's better than using a liner brush because it would take you too long. Well, this is uh, 
another scene that I've done. This is another lesson. It's lesson number five. And uh, I hope you come back and visit me again. Visit the site. And uh, my website is www.johnlacroixhobbies.com. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you come back and see me. Have a nice day.